Hey you guys, so today, well we're looking at this, yes, this is the latest, but not greatest, uh, Doctor Who Blu-ray, they've, uh, they've, they've gone back, they've done a first Doctor, William Hartnell, I was so looking forward to them doing it when they said it was going to be William Hartnell, and I had a look to see, they said it was Galaxy 4, and I went, oh, okay, and I went and I checked in my my big book of Doctor Who, you know, all the the things of this story, and I was like, oh, okay, that seems like a an, an odd story to choose. And I will admit, I I pondered not getting this, and I'll be honest with you, I wish I hadn't, because I really feel like this was a waste of a waste of time. Of all the stories in Doctor Who that are lost to do, they did this one. All right, we'll, we'll talk about why I think that towards the end. But anyway, on Blu-ray for the first time ever and hopefully the last time. It comes with a slipcase, cardboard slipcase, on the back. I'm going to read all that because it'll take me forever. But yes, three of the original 1965 master recordings of Galaxy 4 were lost soon after the program originally transmission. However, audio only recordings have survived and have been used to create a brand new full animated presentation of this classic. Yeah. Lost classic. Lost classic. This is not classic. So extras. Uh, episode 1 to 4 animated black and white. Episode 1 to 4 animated color. Remastered surviving original episode 3. Remastered surviving clips from episode one. It's about a minute's worth. Uh, photographic reconstruction of episodes one, two, and four. Audio commentaries. Making of documentaries. Finding Galaxy 4 documentaries. Photo gallery. Production stills. PDF ROM content. Hmm. So, it's got to let's show that so that you can all see. Now, these are not usually region coded. So, if you're watching this in the good old US of A, or other countries, you should be okay. Because so far these haven't been region coded. But do do check. But as far as I know, they're not region coded. There we go. Yeah. Um. So this has the Chumbly Wumblies in it. Chumblies. These guys who I guess were their answer to, let's see if we can replace the Daleks. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh, no, it's, I'm not going to go into the story. You can read it online. Um... Okay. The, the Doctor William Hartnell stars alongside his travelling companions Vicky, Maureen O'Brien and Stephen Peter Purvis in an adventure which sets the TARDIS landing on a planet on the verge of total annihilation as it drifts too close to the three suns which it orbits. Trapped on the planet with them are the Dravens, a race of warrior women and the reptilian Rills. The Dravens want to steal the Rills spaceship to escape a planet's death throes and enlist the Doctor's help, which he is forced to give when Mac Macaga, I can't say him say that, the cunning Drovian leader, she's not that cunning, uh, keeps first Vicky and then later Stephen as her hostage, even though the Doctor is determined to broker a peace deal between the two sides in this conflict and help everyone escape safely. Uh, doesn't trust him or the Rills. He doesn't mention the Chumblies on there at all, which is strange. Yeah, I'd, I'll do this bit as well. It was just, it was just a dull story. A really, really, really dull, boring story. I know why they picked this. Because it's only got like three sets. And they cheated because they made all the, the female, the bad guys which is weird, um, look the same, except for the leader, whose name I can't say. Anyway. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Even in the extras, which, uh, the extras are the best bit. Oh, <laughs> would you believe? Oh, look, there's the chumblies. Um, you can tell that Peter Purvis didn't really like this story. I don't know, it's just, of all the stories, it's got... Like I say, four sets, very few characters in it, and the character designs they've done are pretty bad. Um, the Doctor's not wearing the right kind of outfit. Doesn't really look like the Doctor either to me. Doesn't, definitely, I don't know. He's got a reasonably easy face to do. 
that, if it looked like that, I would have been happy. But it doesn't. It looks like that, which is a shame. This is also a great moment in it because she gets caught, <laughs> caught behind this gate. If you actually see what the original set looked like in the original episode, it's... He, he could walk it. They could walk through it. The, the gaps in the bars are so big. The set is so cheap and eh, that, yeah. I don't know. For, for the BBC to put this out and charge as much as they are for it is disgusting. And I, I really do feel like the BBC are just cash grabbing any opportunity they can. The animation in these is so hit and miss. This one, I would say the animation is okay. The, the design of the characters is not perfect. Um, I say the Doctors, you know who it is, but it doesn't to me look enough like the Doctor. Uh, there's not really a picture on here of the others. Oh, there we go. There's uh, Vicky. She looks reasonably like the actress. And the Peter Purvis one, you know who it is, but it's... A, I suppose... I have memories of him being a bit older when he was a presenter on Blue Peter, but it's just not... I don't know. This is not what... If they're going to do these, can you just try and put a little bit more effort in? This is promotional for other items. Would you guys like me to do big finish reviews? I'll just ask that while I'm in here, because... I keep thinking of doing them and then I, I don't and then I do and then I don't, so. Yeah, there's a nice advert for the B&M figures that we can never find. Yeah. I was really disappointed with this. I've I watched the colour version and the black and white. It's got the usual um, reversible inlay cards in there as well. And you can see, so you can either have that cover or that cover. Yeah. Like I said, there is some great first Doctor stories out there that are missing episodes or missing whole stories that they could have done. They've done this because they could do it on the cheap. And that is a sad thing to say. That the BBC, yet again, are just using their little cash cow of Doctor Who to make themselves some money. Over in the UK, we're paying as television license. And then the only way we can watch this stuff is either to pay for BritBox to watch Doctor Who or buy this sort of stuff and it is starting to just just a little bit annoy me just a tiny tiny little bit uh, I don't like being negative this is why this video is so late because I've tried I watched it um, Monday I watched the colour version on Monday which like I say is great it's very bright very wow in your face but there's Peter Purvis Stephen yeah the black and white version is also pretty good. It does feel like the original thing, but like I say, just, it, you, I don't know, just a disappointment. So if you were to ask me, should I buy this? I would probably say no, don't buy it. If you really want it in your collection, buy it when it's like, I don't know, on sale, because this will end up on sale. Um, don't go out and spend good money on this it is not worth it we kind of need to send the bbc a message but you see the problem with the bbc is that they're not bright enough to understand that if we don't buy these that's the answer to it we don't buy them but then all the bbc will say is oh well, nobody wants them so we won't make them so we feel like we've got to buy them so that the bbc will make them but then when they make them they make excuse my french crap so yeah that's i don't like being negative i don't like doing reviews where i say bad things about things but these are just to me a waste of space so this definitely is a waste of space anyway that's it so if you've enjoyed this video <laughs> please hit the likes shares and subscribe buttons down there you know what to do hope you all have a great day hope you all have a great night and hopefully we'll see you on the next video bye now